smile on his face there as he wheels away in celebration with Luke Shaw chasing after him. He goes off now and joins up with the French squad. I mean, the key from a United perspective is he doesn't go and pick up another injury and that they, they ease him back in a little bit. Well, yeah, they've got Leicester first, haven't they, at the weekend. That's a, a, another big game where Oli seems to be able to produce, produce big performance at big times like, like, like they have done tonight. I don't think it's a bad thing being in the French squad. I think the lad needs games. Um, if he can get, I don't know how many games France are playing, two, three games possibly, I, I don't know if he can get some minutes with them. I think that'll benefit Man United going on to the, to the final bit of the season. He's got, he's got three games away with, with the French. In some ways, he's had this little period off. No player wants to be injured, but it's going to be a mad end to the season. Maybe this little time away from games might be helpful for him, actually. Well, he's had a little break, but he'll want to play. Paul always wants to play. That's the great thing about him. You know, I think he's probably picked up more injuries than he would have liked this season. But, you know, I think Man United need him. And there's a lot still to play for. You know, this Europa League, that's been, they're probably still the, the favourite in this competition now. And um, I think a trophy would be, would be much needed. So, if they're second in the Premier League, I think that's progression. 12 points better off than they were this time last season. Um, there's still a lot to play for. And obviously, goals you said, Leicester on the weekend, that's a huge game. If United can finish second and win a trophy, I think they've had a great season. And when everyone's fit and everyone's flying, he still gets in the best United yeah. eleven by a long stretch, doesn't he? Yeah, of course he does. Whether it's in that left-hand side, uh, side position tonight where he came into and did brilliantly well, um, maybe that position takes a little bit of defensive responsibility off him. Um, yeah. Would you play him there, Scorsi? <laughs> uh, uh, it depends who's fit. And, uh, I, I do like Rashford or Martial on that left-hand side, I, I must admit. But... He's got every bit of, as much quality them, probably more quality than me. He, he obviously hasn't got the pace. I think with the two older midfield players, it gives him that licence just to be a bit freer as well yeah. from, from that position. There's no doubt the quality he has, as long as he's not thinking about having to defend at times, which he does get caught a little bit. He does get caught out a little bit in that position. I think it could be a position for him. And do you know when he played for Juventus? That was his best position. Either on the left-hand side or the right-hand side of a three. And you, we all know the football they produce it in that team. It's a good point because Marcus really, as good as he's off left, he could play off the right-hand side, couldn't he? You know, yeah. And then you've got Cavani through the middle. Yeah. Bruno's going to play as a 10. I think that's probably something that all these gone to a little bit and find a way to get your best players on the pitch and, and figure it out. And Scorsese makes a good point. You know, that, that was a big cameo, 45 yeah. minutes, and he had a huge impact. And I'm sure we'll see a bit more of that. You know what, a moment of praise for him, actually. Two and a half years since he last played for England. This, this is a story of self-belief and hard work and hanging in there. Look, everybody's known that quality's been there. You know, obviously he had that devastating injury when he, you know, when he was flying. And he's the best left-back in the country now. He's Man United's most consistent player after Bruno Fernandes. Huge credit to him. And it just shows you, you know, regardless of position you're in, you see with John Stones and Luke Shaw, you earn the right to get back in. Play well and you get back in and... Uh, He's earned that right, and he's, he's the best in the country right now, and that's a, that's a huge compliment to him. Talking of getting back in, I wonder what a job David De Gea is going to have to get back into the starting lineup for Man United. As things stand, with him back from having his baby and Henderson having kept seven clean sheets in the last eight games, who's United's number one? <laughs> I was waiting for you to get to that point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope you formulated an answer then while I was... Well, I, I might have. Um, <laughs> but I, I think it's Henderson. No, I, th I think he's taken over. Um, I thought David had been lucky after the Everton game um, to keep his place. I thought there was a couple of mistakes there where he could have done better. There'd been a, a few things before that. There'd been a couple of things after that as well. Not glaring, obviously, mistakes, but I just feel a bit more confident with, with Henderson there. It, it seems a little bit more relaxed. And do you know what? I don't have a go with David. David's been a, an amazing keeper for you now. He's been brilliant. And he, he, he still will be if, if Dean obviously doesn't take his chance. I, I just think the time's come to give him a, a run of games in the team and, and see how he does. Um, he's been picked in the England squad. I think he, he, he possibly should be the number one for England as well if, if he can maintain his form. He made a mistake in the first game. We know that. And he showed great character to come back. And again, he's been really calm tonight, just done what everything he'd needed to do, which has been quite safe. And, and this is a save. It's very similar to Lean's area, and he should save it, and he has, he has saved it. It's a key moment, actually, for him, because if there were any questions after last Thursday night, they're probably answered this evening. And it's like, how do you take him out now? 
Well, you, you only really know players, you know, whether it's a goalkeeper or outfield players, when they make mistakes. And he made a mistake, and he'd be the first one to say he should have saved that one the other day. So for Dean to bounce back the way he did, make a big save and get United into the mm. next round, he deserves a ton of praise. I think it's going to be hard to get him out. As good as David's been for United, I think all these give him a run of games, and, and you'd have to say outside of the, the, the first leg, he's, he's produced, and he's a really confident guy and very vocal so I think he deserves a lot of praise for, for bouncing back and putting in a good performance. Do you agree with Paul the United number one and the England number one as we stand here this evening? It's, I think he's going to be England's number one but I think David's body work over all the years it's, it's hard to walk away from so I think Oli's going to try and be loyal but if Dean's playing better then he's going to be hard. He's given him a chance and he's playing well so it's going to be hard to drop I think right now. Okay we'll see how it unfolds. Um, after the break he needed one goal was all it took. Yep Good bit of quality from what, what was missing over the two games, really. Pogba was was really good when he came on. He, he came on at half time. Obviously, for a, a Rashford injury, I would have thought he came into that left hand, hand side position and he shown he showed bits of quality right from the off. And he, he seemed to liven, liven everybody up as well. And if, if you watch it, could they possibly, could, they, they possibly could do it, but it's this little faint to square it, it moves the goalkeeper and it leaves a big gap and it's a, it's a really good finish. The two biggest stars were on the bench for either team, Ibrahimovic and Pogba, and Pogba was the one that changed the game. Right when he came on, he was the difference maker. He would just add a touch of class, even that skull said the little feint in the finish in the top of the net. That's, that's what the game needed, yeah. so he was... He played really well and it just shows you. He gets, everybody talks about Paul Pogba, but you notice him more, you know, the big impact that he has when he's not there, and he was... Um, just hopefully he could play him and Bruno together would, uh, I think, would kickstart Man United into, into, into the next level because Scalzi's overall game was, was top draw, even though he only played 45 minutes. Yeah, he is, and he, he, look, he brings a real quality. When he's heads on it and his concentration's there, he brings a real quality to this team that isn't there. They've got the two older midfield players, but he's different. He, he can create, he can, he can score goals, he brings, he brings a touch of class to the team, which is, which is missing. Unfortunately, the, the lad just seems to be picking up injuries at this time and he, he's missed an awful lot of the season. But the, the, these bits of quality that, that we're missing, in the end, show to be the difference between the two teams. You know the thing I love about him, Jay, is the fact that he's always looking for the ball. You know, he's the one that takes the pressure on the shoulders. He's the one that is trying to receive the ball. That turn is fabulous. That, that's a top player's turn. And he, he's the one who made the difference tonight. That, look, they paid a lot of money, money for him and everybody says he... He can do more, but he did, he did what he needed to today and uh, he added that touch of class when Man United really needed it. And that's a lovely image. Look at this. Congratulations through to the quarterfinals. What are your thoughts after that? Um, obviously very happy that we're through. Um, I'll be honest, and I think the lads and you know, the, the staff would agree we, we weren't good at all. Especially first half, we were awful. Um, you know, we couldn't... I think first half we started, first 10, 15 minutes we started well. Um, maybe kept control of the ball and, you know, it was like a switch. We, we turned off and, you know, we were very sloppy, kept giving away balls, you know, bringing pressure on ourselves and I think maybe, maybe we was lucky. Um, but then second half, a bit better. It, it always helps when you've got a world-class player like Paul to come on, you know, make a difference. He did that, it's brilliant to have him back and, you know, like I said, the most important thing was tonight was, was the result and get through to the next round, no matter how we played. But you know, we know we need to be better than, than tonight. Is that the big positive to emerge from tonight? The fact that you've acknowledged you didn't necessarily play to your best level as a team, yet you still went through, still got the clean sheet, still got that win? Yeah, 100 percent. And obviously, AC Milan are, are a top side and, you know, we knew it would be hard, especially coming here. Um, you know, the result wasn't in our favour and you know, no, it, it's a very good win and, you know, I think it's the most positive is, like you said, that, that we're obviously through and, you know, we've got players coming back and the squad's looking much better than, than it did last week. So, you know, it's good times now and hopefully we can, you know, push on because we've got a game around the corner, a, a very important one on the weekend. Good times now for yourself on an individual level back in the England squad. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, of course, ex extremely, extremely happy. Um, you know, it's a massive honour to, to get selected for your country. And, you know, obviously I've been out of the fold for quite a while and, you know, I've always sort of had ambitions to get back into the, into the side and into the squad. And, you know, luckily I've done that. And, 
Yeah, no, of course, I just need to keep going. And, but, you know, I'm really looking forward to, to getting back into the England squad and, you know, being there.